Good afternoon. This is Brother Herman with MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org, a nonprofit organization who has been anointed and appointed by our Holy Trinitarian and Most High Godhead to be used to bring forth societies uh, to societies less fortunate. Our societies less fortunate are our brothers and sisters walking around in this world looking for their identities, the true identities that only God can provide the knowledge for. We're going to be used as just one ministry of many to bring forth these truths so that our societies less fortunate, our brothers and sisters, our lost souls walking around can transform into societies most fortunate. That are just those of us who have received the birthright. Inside of MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org, you will find a segment that is entitled Brother Herman's Sermons. These are the teaching tools that are going to help the societies that's fortunate do just that. They're also going to help our brothers and sisters cope through life's terms. Cope through life on life's terms. That is the challenges, the trials, the tribulations, the obstacles, the hurdles that we all must face at some point. We must choose to face these. We need the God's knowledge, we need his power, Holy Spirit power, we need a, the guidance and direction of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be able to navigate through life if we're going to do it in a successful uh, rate, if you will. We've already established uh, nine series, and inside of each series there can be found ten episodes. We are working on series number ten right now, which we have entitled, God Anoints and Appoints Us not the world. We're going to be working on episode number four this afternoon, which we have entitled, Are You of Sober Mind? If you'd like to assist us in this ministry, you may do so. All the information you need is on the front of this channel, including our website. You can reach us from the website as well. You can also cash up us at dollar sign capital M A I K U M capital C D E capital T R U T H. And we appreciate whatever the Holy Trinity moves you to assist us with. And you may hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this channel to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive each one of these teaching tools every time we upload one. You can hit the like button at the bottom of the channel as well if you want to save each teaching tool or whichever one you want to save so that you can use these to teach someone else whom you know can use this vital information. Once again, we're going to begin Series 10, God's Anoints and Appoints Us, Not the World. We're going to begin Episode 4 this afternoon, which we have entitled, Are You of Sober Mind? And we begin it like this. When we come into this world of God's creations, we come in pure and untouched by anything vile. Only as we grow from infants and two toddlers, we at some point begin to see and hear impure and unpleasant sights and sounds and at later stages during our growth development we begin to learn wickedness from those predominantly around us that includes our family members our peers our social circles our wherever we go around we're going to learn from thus thus as in most cases we tend to take on or mimic such ungodly behaviors, if that is the case. Around the teenage years, many of us begin to follow bad influences for one reason or another, usually for acceptance of those we either fear or perceive as cool. If we haven't been taught by example that we are created for a higher purpose, then generally we will tend to gravitate towards a lesser path that will surely lead us away from innocence, our innocence, and onto a path of self-sabotage self instead. So in the basic instructions before leaving earth, we're going to go inside the great book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, which, this, which states this, Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Therefore, the more we choose to follow behind and entertain these persons and places and things of an ungodly nature, the more ungodly our characters become. Hence, the more ungodly our characters become, the more desensitized to our innocence we become. Instead of saying no to temptations, our responses will change into the sure 
Why not? And when this happens, our innocence begins to change as well. We go from saying no to skipping class and lying to those who care about our futures to going along with those who don't care about our, our futures nor their own. And before you know it, your innocence is gone. Now, a lie is nothing to tell your parents or anyone else who loves you, for that matter. Because what these overseers think in regards to your future doesn't really matter to you anymore. Eventually, we get introduced to casual sex, drugs, alcohol, and music of all kinds that will oftentimes lead us to becoming out of control. And the longer we choose to partake in these tasteless and senseless lifestyle behaviors, the more selfish and desensitized we sh will surely become towards everyone who cares for and about us. No longer will we possess the God-given abilities to care about what those who whom love us think about the decisions we are making because that part of our brain has become numb and neutralized, which is exactly what the enemy of our existence wants, the devil himself. Whereby we must become desensitized, which makes us even more vulnerable targets for those who don't care anything about us. Why, Brother Herman? So that they can use us as their tools. Because by choices presented, we have decided on the lesser to be fools instead. So we go back inside the basic instructions before leaving earth, our holy Bible, inside of 1 Thessalonians, rather, chapter 5, verse 6, which states, Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, the non-believers, but let us watch and be sober instead. Only fools despise correction and hate those whom attempts to provide, provide them wise counsel. Hence, who better and easier to use for the dark works of the devil than a fool? The fools are the weaker vessels, by the way, and the weaker vessel is easily, easily infiltrated by a demonic spirit. So keep that in mind as well. So why is this so, Brother Herman? Because a sober-minded people God chooses to use instead. He, that's why he says be sober and be vigilant because our enemy is lurking about and ready to pounce like a lion. And if God chooses us to do his righteous works, then he will send his Holy Spirit inside our sober spirit to alert us to the tricks, deceit, and traps of Satan. Amen? Praise God. Inside of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Devour inside of the book of Oxford American Dictionary. We're going to dissect it and see what it means. It means to eat, consume, or read hungrily, quickly, destructively, or eagerly. And that means someone or something. If then we choose to follow after ungodly people, places, or things, we simultaneously also choose to become desensitized to all things God loves, including our well-beings. And those well-beings of, of all those God had placed in our lives to care about and for us. So we're going to dissect exactly what a fool means, once again using Oxford American Dictionary. It means a person lacking good sense or judgment, which is also the same thing as being unwise. Wherefore, we must choose to stay sober and vigilant so that we don't become a tool, a fool for our adversary, the devil, and choose instead to be used by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, our keeper, for the glory of Father God. Amen. Praise Holy Trinity. So, are you of sober mind? This is episode number four inside of series 10. God is the one who anoints and appoints us, not the world. He also commands us to stay sober and be vigilant. Now, it's okay to drink a little bit of wine here and there. 
if you're not like me, addicted to alcohol. Because after all, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ turned water into wine. But he also said to drink and be merry, to enjoy the fruits of your labor, to celebrate over them, but not to become a drunkard. For to become a drunkard makes you an open, weaker vessel for the devil himself or his demonic spirits to infiltrate your vessel in your mind, to cause you to become a fool. And a fool is a great tool for him to use against God's plan for our return to his holy presence, which is the ministry of reconciliation, Jesus Christ's ministry, reconciling the souls, the lost souls of our brothers and sisters back into God's holy presence. This is our reasonable service to humble ourselves, to submit ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ so that he can use us, but he cannot use us if we are under any mind-altering substance, whether it be drugs, alcohol, or anything that's going to take us away from God. Take our minds off of his plan. Take our minds away from God's business. We must keep God's business first, and then he'll keep our business as well. Until next time when we launch episode number five, which we have entitled, Are You All In? In the side of series number 10, God anoints and appoints us, not the world. Stay focused, be sober, and vigilant. I pray that each one can receive some of these teaching tools so that they may go forth and be used to teach one who needs them. Until then, until next time, may God continue to bless us all. And may you have a great rest of your afternoon, your evening, and wake up tomorrow refreshed, ready to go to work. Thank you, and may God bless us all.